Hi, so Friday video request. Um, someone wanted to see what my game day uniform looks like and how to put it on. So our games are in like spring, late spring, summer. So what it is is the only thing I'm wearing right now is the tights, you know, which are green, plus some socks underneath. And I always put the socks on before than the tights, so that way the thing stays underneath and I don't have to, anyways. So, like I said, this will be game day uniform. Oh man, I thought I had everything. Where are my knee pads? Got it. I was like, wait a second. So, since I just washed all this stuff, it doesn't take too terribly much to put your knee pads in. You just fold them. They're just champion sports. <laughs> you know, they're they're symmetrical, so there's no real left or right side. There's just an inside and an outside. And you should realize, you know, what side's the inside. And then you just put that in the bottom of your pants. Right down there. And... The other leg. There it is. Our colors are dark green and black with a little bit of silver. Um, so, yeah, I got that, and once you got that in, what I do, I just reach through, and those are ready to put on after, but a lot of people ask, do I wear a jock? No, I don't. I wear tights, or leggings, technically, and then I wear a compression girdle, which has thigh pads, which have a little bit of thing and then apparently this is carbon fiber and then it's got the hip pad and so that I don't break my tailbone open <laughs> you know. and this goes on very easily slides right on and then we'll put I forgot the other the chest base layer because these pads are very effective, but they stick to skin. And yeah, that's why you gotta, I put on something underneath them, because at least with my old girdle, they used to stick to me. I haven't really tried these, but I don't think they would. The other, yeah. And then, what? Because every little bit of swag, I guess is what it's called, works good, so you gotta smooth, you gotta smooth everything out. I mean, obviously it's going to get wrinkled in a game, but, yeah, it's compression shirt with the uh, internal pads. Just, really, it's to provide the extra oomph to the shoulder pads that's like, yeah. And then just in case someone wants to cut block me and I, sh and I get low enough, pull that down. Got that going. Now, pants. Mm. Always kind of a pain of a butt to get on because I keep the belt together. There we are. Release this because one, two. Don't want to completely lace it up because I still got to tuck in the jersey. But getting all the holes and make sure that flaps across there. And everything's fine. Yeah, okay. So you've got some bros out there and they like to try to do it the hard way because it makes it, well, if you do it the hard way, obviously you're better. No. You're just trying to get your pads on. You're not trying to be super cool about it. Yeah, there's the trick shots where they throw their pads up in the air and dive through it, basically, but the idea is 
just to not stretch out and bend your joints in weird positions, put your jersey on your pads beforehand. Simple enough. Which it's, by the way, my shoulder pads are just Rawlings. And they are size small. I'm an itty bitty guy, Ventilite. But yeah, Nike Pro Combat, Rawlings, Nike Pro Combat. I can only find the tights from e uh, Amazon from a company. The thing is, is it says sued right there. So I'm thinking it's from Germany because that's south in Germany. But anyways, so then put your arms through. Sure, your pad didn't get folded up in the back. This up and over. This boil around. Latch it in. Just so I can show you all how this. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I hate it when I have to fish this guy out. Oh. Come on. Live television here, folks. Come on. There we are. So, it's a simple little latch, but here. Plugs in straight, and you twist. And then this, whatever, it goes anywhere it wants. And then, whoop. That over the back pad. Fold this all in. You want some? All right, I'm gonna release. <laughs> okay. One. Two. Simple little knot. And then the belt. Through both loops. Over one, under the other. And then it gets. And then I, th I thread mine through because that's just. It's like flag in flag football. You don't want to have something there for them to grab, especially when it's as tight to you, it doesn't pull off. So, that pulled around. I mean, yeah, I got a little bit of a bunch up there. Cleats. So, I got Alpha, Alpha TD2, um, the black. squeeze onto my foot. I usually have black athletic socks that I wear so that the black blends in with the whole thing. I don't have white sticking out, but wore mine out last year, so I don't have any currently, but I'll definitely show those off in future videos. They, they got gook all over them. I thought about washing them, but then I'm just like, you know, I'll wash them before a game so I look all slick, but With practices right now, it's just like, why? It's muddy. It's gross. Come on. It's, he's, yeah. He's got the Nike skin. They're basically one piece of fabric all the way around. Not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this very well, but the seam is right here and then it just wraps all the way around in this one piece until it comes back here so that's cool and then that, the helmet which yeah. pull that on snap snap 
That damn you dirt buddy. I store it there. Mouthpiece. And then, finally, gloves. I wear a large glove. These are Nike. And then I just try to pull the Oops. <laughs> Trying to pull this down. We have a smooth. And that's that. We'll have an emblem over here. It'll be that boy. -o. And there you go. That's how I put on my gear. And that's the gear I'm using. It. Anyways, so if you have any questions, just feel free to comment below. Um, if you know, I'll definitely show the away uniform when we get it. Um, it's been shown on our Facebook private Facebook page. So yeah, I will chat with you guys later. See you guys over the weekend. Um, yeah, peace out.